You're partying in the backyard with your friends. Some people are tossing a frisbee around, but it ends up behind your shed. One of your friends heads over there to fetch it, but she notices something that looks like a giant ball. When trying to get the frisbee, she sees some wasps buzzing around. Little did you know, there was a giant wasp nest right in your backyard. Your friend runs back and rushes inside your house. Everyone's confused and watches her sprint out of nowhere. Then you see a swarm of wasps invading the party. You and your friends freak out and rush inside until your living room is completely cramped up. Everyone looks outside in frustration as wasps take over your party. They land on the snacks and grilled food. They're completely covering the entire backyard. You have no choice but to send everyone home and clean up. Wasps aren't usually dangerous unless provoked. But still, it's better to avoid them at all costs. You call pest control to report the hive, and all you can do is sit and wait for them to arrive. Looks like one wasp managed to get inside the house. Everyone panics and knocks over your furniture and stuff. You open the front door to let them out. The best way to detect if a wasp nest is around is by observing their flight patterns. If you see one of them constantly flying back to a certain spot, then chances are a hive is just around the corner. No oh boy. And keep an eye out if you see more than one of these stingers. Some wasps are known to travel solo, but they also live together in colonies. Wasps have an amazing engineering instinct. They build their nests mainly out of wood fibers mixed with their saliva. They turn it into paper-like material and make hexagon-shaped constructions. They find wood pieces from trees, or if they live near humans, then from fences, windowsills, and anything of the sort. The pest control arrives wearing protective gear, looking like they're about to save the world. You sit back and watch them do things. You finally see the nest after they extracted it. And good thing it was just in your backyard. There have been reports of wasp nests inside homes of people, behind closets, inside garages, and even on the top of their windows. They're technically outside, but you wouldn't open a window for a breath of fresh air. Like most pest controllers, your rescuers took out the nest the size of a football and relocated to another, safer area in the wild. Wasps are actually nature's pest controllers. Not all insects dare to mess with them. Wasps just end up preying upon anything that comes their way. In fact, some farmers praise their work and keep them around their crops to protect them. But at least you can go back outside and throw an even better party than before. Better fire up that grill. In April 1963, a farm in a remote area had to deal with the largest known wasp's nest. It weighed so much that it actually fell from the tree it was hanging on and split into two. The whole thing was around 12 feet long, that's the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, and 5 feet in diameter, as tall as a fridge. I wouldn't want to have a romantic picnic under that tree. You're going on a nice little hike in the northeastern region of Brazil when suddenly you realize something doesn't feel right. No, it's not your stomach, so you're fine. But just the landscape, it feels off, like you're standing on something ancient. You see a group of scientists pointing at you to move. At first, you can't really understand what they're saying, but then you realize you're standing on a large termite mill. You know those insects that love nibbling on wood so much, they build their entire lives around it? And even though termites have a colony mentality like ants and bees, they're actually related to cockroaches. Termites are mainly found in North and South America, but also have traces in Europe and Asia. You can credit that to humans for transporting them all around in ships and crates. Anything wooden they could get their hands on, or rather their jaws. So, after moving from the mill, you realize you notice many mills resembling the one you were standing on as far as the eye can see. You rush over to them to try to make sense of it, and they tell you that you're standing on an enormous complex of 200 million termite mounds. Even though many of these mills are around 10 feet tall, many of them create a beautiful scene. According to scientists, they might be up to 4,000 years old and are visible from a satellite in the sky. These mills cover the size of Great Britain. That's an equivalent of discovering 4,000 Great Pyramids of Giza if you were just a tiny termite. And although abandoned, these mills aren't active nests, but an entire network of interconnecting tunnels. 
Scientists are still searching for answers about this entire termite supercolony, but so far, no more details could be found. They still haven't found a queen chamber, and by the size of it, it doesn't look like it'll happen anytime soon. Termites are actually resourceful creatures, but can do a lot of harm to human-made structures and even crops and plantations. Since termites have migrated with people overseas, many of them aren't accustomed to the natural environment around them. So they end up seeking shelter in anything, including houses and buildings. Termites are responsible for many property destructions and even collapsing of wooden structures. If you have a cabin in the woods with much of your furniture made of wood, you're basically setting an open buffet for these pests. But since these creatures feast on wood, aka cellulose, they can break it down into substances that are spread all around to support other plant growth in the ecosystem. You're walking around in the open savanna enjoying the nice warm sun, when in an instant, the entire sun is blocked. And these aren't thick, dark clouds about to drop some rain on you. You look closely, and after noticing some of its weird movements, you find out it's a huge swarm of locusts, probably the biggest you've ever seen. In 2020, East Africa saw an invasion of locusts that can cover an area three times the size of New York City. These waves of swarms hit East Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, and the Middle East, eating away crops that fed entire populations. Scientists claim that this is the biggest locust invasion in the last 50 years. Locusts are considered to be the worst pests. Now, an individual locust doesn't seem too bad, even two. They look rather harmless and eat a tiny bit of vegetation. But when about 80 million of these bugs get together, well, it's not good news. With those numbers, it's no wonder the whole world stops and pays attention to them when they're on the loose. It took so much effort to control them, but in many cases, the rescue was too late. So after seeing such a mega swarm heading your way, you seek shelter. But these creatures can cut through anything. You find a small shack to hide in, but as soon as they fly by, it's like living through a hurricane. Ah, the coast is clear. You look outside and see everything around toppled over and eaten away. All those crops completely gone. You can finally see the sun again, but the swarm is on the loose. Another insect that got famous and caused all kinds of trouble in 2020 was the Asian hornet. Scientists claim these creatures aren't aggressive towards humans unless provoked. But they can be really violent toward honeybees. The hornets can ruin entire hives in a matter of hours. Tiny honeybees can't do much to protect themselves from full-grown 2-inch monsters. Ooh.